prior to any fit test with any respirator, the user must have completed a medical evaluation to determine their fitness for wearing a respirator. The following fit test complies with OSHA Respiratory Protection Standard 29 CFR 1910.134. For this test, there is no certification associated, as the law reads that any competent individual may perform the qualitative fit test procedure. After you've been trained and deemed competent, you may also perform the respirator fit test. This qualitative fit test can be performed using a mist of either sweet tasting saccharin or a bitter tasting agent called Bitrex. The test process is the same for both test agents. For our purposes, we will be using the Bitrex test agent. This test is valid for any particulate respirator or any gas and vapor respirator with particulate filters. The particulate filters are used so that only face piece fit is tested. The qualitative fit test must be completed every year to ensure your respirator continues to fit properly. This is a taste test, so the test subject must not eat, drink, or chew gum for 15 minutes before the test. Before the actual fit test takes place, the potential user must don and wear the respirator for a period of familiarity, usually five minutes, to establish that the mask is proper in size, adjusts correctly, and does not cause any discomfort or fatigue. First is the sensitivity test. It establishes your ability to detect the test agent. For this portion of the test, you don't wear your respirator. The tester will place a hood over your head that should be positioned so there is a space for free movement. Unscrew the top of nebulizer number one and pour in a small amount of the sensitivity test solution. Next, using nebulizer number one, the tester will initially spray 10 squeezes rapidly through the hole in the front of the hood window. You must breathe with your mouth open and tongue slightly extended. If you taste the test agent, tell your instructor. The taste threshold will be noted as 10 regardless of the number of squeezes actually completed. If you do not detect the test agent within the first 10 squeezes, the tester will then put an additional 10 squeezes in the hood and the taste threshold will be noted as 20. If you still cannot taste the test agent, the tester will add an additional 10 squeezes and the taste threshold will be noted as 30. If at that point you cannot taste the test agent after 30 squeezes, the test is over and you cannot be tested using this test agent. Once it's been determined at what level you can taste the test agent at 10, 20, or 30 squeezes, you can remove the hood and wait a few minutes to clear the taste from your mouth. Sometimes rinsing your mouth with water can be helpful. To perform the fit test, put on your respirator following all included instructions for proper fitting, including a user seal check. The tester will now place the hood over your head again and position it so you have about six inches between your face and the window. Now, using nebulizer number two, containing the fit test solution, the tester will spray the fit test agent into the hood using 10, 20, or 30 squeezes depending on the number of squeezes needed to test the test agent. To maintain the concentration of solution during the test, the tester will inject half the number of squeezes used at the beginning of the fit test, 5, 10, or 15, every 30 seconds thereafter. Perform the following exercises for 60 seconds each as directed by the tester. Turn your head from side to side, stopping for breath at each side. Nod your head up and down, holding at each position for one or two breaths. Talk or read the rainbow passage slowly and out loud. Bend over or bend at the waist as in touching your toes. You may jog in place as an alternative. And finally, breathe normally again. When you complete the exercises without tasting the test agent, the respirator fits you properly. If at any time during the fit test you detect the same taste you did during the sensitivity test, inform the tester immediately. It means your respirator does not fit properly and you must refit or select a different size or style of respirator to test with. Once you clear the taste of the test agent from your mouth, you can repeat the fit test procedure. You will need to keep a record of the fit test for each subject. You will need to keep these on file for future reference if the need arises.